I said, people, morning, 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 good afternoon, should I say. I'm in the kitchen. I'm bringing one of the fastest ways that you can make a sorry. People are asking, so I'm going to give you the fastest way. Fastest way, pile of water. Let's do it. Take a pot. Yeah, you put water in a pot. Most definitely. If you have a uh, boiling water, you use boiling water. But that's just a quick something to let y'all see. Man, that's your pot. It has water, you put it in the stove, you turn it on. Bam. Okay, this pot you have here, you get. If it does not, doesn't have a juicer, well, I thought I had the juicer. I just bought one, but I get to find out. This is, do not buy this. What's the name of this again? Uh, I'll tell the name in a minute, but don't buy this. This is real garbage. This this does not juice anything. I was about to make some juice a while ago. Look, I was about to juice one of my uh, blood builders for y'all to show y'all. But this juicer is no good. So we're not going to do, do no juicing. We're going to do it another time. But right now, I'm gonna show you a quick fast how y'all could do your sara. So, pile of water is on the stove. Uh, you go right here and you put your uh, cloves. Throw the cloves in there. Cinnamon sticks, about six, seven of them. You throw it in here. Cinnamon sticks, you put it in there. Remember, you need cloves. You put cloves in there. You could put like at least. 30, 30 cloves, you can throw in there, close it, you can put lots of cloves, about 30 to 40 to 50 cloves, put in there, six sticks of cinnamon, put in there, let that boil up, get your ginger, if you don't have a juicer, you cut it up like that, and you throw it in there, just little slices, and you throw it in there, so you cut a lot of ginger, if it does not have a ginger, a uh, juicer, you throw that in there, let that boil up. So now you have cinnamon sticks in here. You got cloves in here, okay? And you let that boil up. As that boil up, you start smelling that cinnamon and that cloves. So now, some people, what they do is, some people, would put the sour in there to boil up. But if you don't want to do that, you want to do it nice, you leave it, you, you leave it, the water to boil. When you finish, you get some sour, put it in a, in a, in a strainer, get a pot, just like this one. Get a pot. Okay, and what you do is the hot water, you pour it over the siren. So let me see, I'm gonna try to get a, a heavy one. So. Okay. So, get this, turn up this, go over here, and you're starting to pull. Okay, people. So in this part, when I had it over here, I demonstrate. You see, I have the clothes and stuff in there. I did put clothes and so. Now this is like I said. This is one of the quickest way. Look, look at here. 
This is one of the quickest way. You see my cinnamon sticks in there? See my little pieces of ginger that I had cut up in there? Okay? That's real fast. Now, like I said, if you have a ginger, uh, if you have a juicer, like I thought I had here, I was going to use this juicer to show you all how would I um, subtract the, uh, the, the, the liquid, the ginger, from the ginger itself, the liquid through the uh, juicer. I would juice it and get the juice. And I would put the juice in there. That's much better than boiling these for hours. You know, you don't want to do that. So that's the quickest way. So then again, I have some ginger extract. Like I would juice it in here. So what would I do? I would pull my ginger extract in there. Okay? Okay? Now, now, after I do that, after I put my ginger, there is no way else to sweeten sorrel but with brown sugar. Brown sugar. Okay? That's the only way you'll get sorrel sweet. You gotta use brown sugar. You could use all the white sugar in the world, it's not gonna get sweet. You could use all the honey you want, it's not gonna get sweet. It's brown sugar and sour has a relationship. That's like two positive, blessed, sanctified people that love each other. Okay? They can't do without each other. Like people say coffee and milk. They like put milk in their coffee. Coffee and milk. They go together. Brown sugar goes with sorrow. That's the only thing will give it that sweet, that little uh, to it. Brown sugar. And we know original brown sugar like this one is from the king. We're not talking about no imitation sugar. We're not talking about wannabe brown. I mean, when you brown, you brown. That's a natural thing, you know. You don't have to bleach to get brown. You, you know, you just brown. You know, you just born brown like me and others. We you know we just born that way, that beautiful brown. You know, some people call it dark brown. Some people call it chocolate brown. You know, but it's a brown. I call it bronze, burn bronze. Like when you burn brass, so it's brass bronze when you burn it. The color burnt brass. I represent this color bronze. Okay, so this is what you're gonna get when you use. This is the sugar you're gonna use here. This brown sugar is all natural. You're gonna use that and pour in your sorrel. Now I'm gonna bring an extra uh, thing for you guys who wants your sorrel to taste real good and excellent. I hope they still have more of that. What I'm looking for here. Uh, 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 okay, so I got this grape juice here. Look at it. Okay, so hundred percent. And um, what would I do is when my sorrow is hot right now. See. See, it's blazing hot. You see how red it is? It's hot right now. Okay? See how rich and how that look? Okay? That's excellent. So, when you do the sari like that, it's the best way because some people want to have this boiling for hours. You're killing all the nurture. All the nurture of this, of the sari, the purpose of it. You cannot boil it. The only thing you could do, like I show you, you could put your cinnamon, you could put your cloves on your cinnamon in here. Let that boil up the water and give it the flavor. And if you don't have a juicer, then you could strip your um your ginger in strips, I said, and put it in here. Fine strips and let it boil. And after it boils, now you have your pot, you get a strainer, and you chew that hot water, like I did in here. 
See how rich it is? Right? Look at my hand. It's like blood. Means I still have, I could still pour more hot water. Okay? I could still boil more hot water and get more, whole lot more from 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 this here. So I could still get a whole lot more. I could still get a whole lot more because it is so rich. It's like my hands is cut, but it's sorry. And this is the richness, you see? You see what you're looking for? But when you boil this up in a big pot and it overboil, look, it look like I got cut. And this is how the purification, how it purifies the blood, all naturally. Look at that, look, look at the floor. I could use it for an uh, ink marker, you see? Or oh, color, you see? That's how you got, you, you got to get it. That's how it got to come out. So, since it's so rich, I just put some more water here. Okay? And turn on the stove. And I will just, again, throw that over here. And this is perfect. So, I was saying, after this is cooled down, when I put it into the fridge. Hold on. Yes, so, okay, so we got this. So you all understand how to do the sorrel stuff. It's not that hard, people ask old oh, Red Howard. It's not hard. You get the sorrel in the pot, boom. Get your hot water, let it boil. Get your cinnamon, put it in there. Get your cloves, put it in there. You doesn't have a juicer to juice your ginger, strip. Put it in there, boil. After it boil up, you get the hot water, you get a strainer, you throw your siren in the air, throw your siren in the air, and you get the hot water and you pour it on it and you just let it drip out. Okay? And then you could even go and take another pot of hot water like I did to pour on this one here. So that's excellent. And then like I said, you have the K-Bon, k hundred percent. Or you could blend that some of this grape juice. You could put it in the sorrel to give it a kick, to give it that taste. And some people like it with a little, like a little taste of strong rum. Uh, like I said, I'm not big enough people on drinking rum and stuff like that, but you, a little sip will not be too bad, okay, within the sorrel. And because also, it's also a remedy within, to work within too. So people, you all see, what it is. Make sure you all got your brown sugar. Oh, you need that. Make sure you got your cinnamon, the sticks, you need that. Make sure you got your cloves, you need that. Okay, and you know it's the original thing itself, the siren, you need that. The ginger, you need that. These are the things that goes when you're making siren. Again, cinnamon, you need that. Is that definite? Most definite. Okay, people? Clothes. You need that. It's the most definite. Without clothes, you can't get the taste. You cannot get that taste. You need that. Cinnamon and clothes, they are friends. They go together. Ginger. You need that to give it the sting and that beautiful taste. Very tasty, you need. And the original guy is uh, sorry, which is the bush. Where you don't need to boil, but you need to throw hot water upon. Y'all got it, people? That's how you do it. This is the way Red Shack Blacks that's here to do the thing. That's how the thing come out. That's how you start it out. That's how it becomes boombastic. That's where it becomes, wow, A plus. Okay, people, next time I will show y'all I have, I got some Irish moss in the fridge again, people, and I'm about to show you. So maybe tomorrow morning, 
I hit you up with this video for the um for the Irish, which is the um the peanut punch, the bedroom bully and all that. What is tomorrow I do it. But right now, y'all see what it is. I got my pot right here. Let me put this over here. I got my salad in here, all nice and red inside my pot. I will add some more water, it's a real peel. And then I'll put that in the fridge. I'll sweeten it when it comes down with my brown sugar. Okay? And sour takes a lot of sugar, but don't overdo it. But it's only brown sugar. Then after that, I'll put it in and I will blend it with my grape juice. And any grape juice could do. Okay? So, and don't forget I have my ginger extract. So I like to extract the ginger and put it. And like I said, I was gonna do something else for y'all guys this morning. Richard was gonna be with this here, which I call a blood builder. But with this juicer that I got here, show them this old juicer. This juicer here, it said it ain't going nowhere, so I gotta get something better. Well, I didn't buy it, I get it as a gift. But I guess sometimes that's how things come. I'm still, a, I still appreciate it. But uh, it cannot do the job. So yes, people. All praises unto the one and only. I serve only one master, not two and three. I let people know who God bless, no one curse. Again, I got one of my favorite shirts on me. You know? You know it's the Black Star. Uh, you're asking about the uh, website. The website gonna be done by the day. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna make it, sh it's, it's gonna be done by the day. So I got, uh, Certain things I wanted to post a lot of items on the website, but it's not gonna work bad. So I'm gonna put my shirts first, the siren, and maybe the medicine. And after down the line, uh, I would put add more things as things go by. I'm trying to do too much things at one time, so I gotta go step by step. The shirts first with the sorrow packs. I'm gonna be selling them wholesale, and uh, we're gonna start building little by little. So look forward for today. Or I'm gonna send a presentation on uh, YouTube and Facebook, let them know the website is out. I'm trying to finish it back today. I just got to put pictures on it. And uh, you know when you're doing things on your own, you 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 learning, every day is a process of learning. That's one thing that makes life life so beautiful. When you can learn through the process and actually graduate from not knowing anything to knowing a whole lot by you educating yourself and you are not giving up. The key thing about this world is you not supposed to give up the moment you give up on you remember it's tough already and you are it's the only person that could actually motivate you push you so if you your octane gas just shut out your entire life is done i mean if you never have children you're not gonna have children if you are uh, once in the gutter you'll never get out of the gutter you'll go deep deeper down into the gutter. So the struggle begins with you. We are the struggle. It starts with us. And that's why I say hard work and dedication. That's why I say soul, mind, and body. That's why I say mind over matter. And that's why I say ITAL is vital. T-shirts that come out with ITAL um, is vital. So I appreciate you people. And again, 40K. I'm 40K. Uh, I'm going to have a life of uh, Sunday coming on 40k. So look out for it. Appreciate your one love, peace, and blessings. Thank you for stepping into Red's kitchen. You know when you step into the Red Kitchen, he always do things different and show the people them what it is and bring the truth. So all those of you that couldn't couldn't do Sarah right now, and you all wanted to know how to do it, and you all didn't know how to do it. Well, it's so simple. I know you know how to do it. And people, watch the videos and share the videos, okay? Like, share, and subscribe. Watch the videos, that's how you're gonna learn. Cause some of y'all say y'all don't understand the way I speak. Come on now, come on now, come on now. You know you do. Just go back and take time, listen to the video. Take time, yeah, I know the tongue might be getting a little heavy, the, 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 you know, but just listen to it, okay? So y'all see what it is, y'all know what it is. Peace and blessings to the entire universe. All praises unto the most High for he's my shield. My rock. Hey, wow. If God is for I man, why should I worry? Why should I worry? Why should I care? Pestilence that fall by day, not even the ones that walk by night. I fall by night. God them have those that come by day and those that fall by night. But most I bless me and 
take me and put me upon a rock, and I shall never be removed. I have take refuge in the bosom of the Most High. Hey, people, I got to say this. I have to say it. Watch the people that you keep close to you. Even your own family sometimes, man. Even your own family sometimes when you're doing good. They know you're doing good, but still trying to make you believe you're doing bad. Trying to make you believe you need them. When you was down and out, they came around, but they didn't do nothing. They just wanted to see how deep you was. And they saw you wasn't drowning. And say, ah, oh, alright. And now they figured out, okay. They, 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 they're playing games. You gotta watch these dogs you keep in the house. They bite you the hardest. You know? Some of them don't know what you're going through. From the moment they call you, you gotta drop anything you're doing. You will walk from here to Timbuktu. To do any little thing. Just because you have love within your heart. And they, within their mind, is corrupt. Some of them, you got siblings, they never even like you, the false pretenders. Pretending they care about you. Pretending they love you. Oh, my big brother, my little brother, my little sister. And they don't like you. They will do you worse than your own enemies would do for you. At least you know, you know your enemies don't like you. But it's the worst thing when you have your family or you got people that say they're your family and they don't like you. And you know by the way they do. They do you dirty. They always try to do you dirty. And they always try to act like they're the victim. Even when you're bending over. Because they think you are dumb. They can't see it's the love that you got. They can't see it's the love that you got within you. That allowing you to bend over for them. They believe it's a must. They believe they got it like that. Some of them have no remorse. They're evil, cold, wicked eyes. If your life was in the bottomless, bottomless pit, they will be happy. That's where they want to see. From the moment they see you're not banging your feet, you're not banging your head, and you're keeping your order, they're still trying to come to make you get out of order, make you lose control. Yeah, they always have an issue. They always tell the world how much they care for you, but they ain't doing nothing for nothing. They're going to say they're doing something, but it's to get something. Because they know the same thing they're saying they're getting for you is what they're getting for themselves. You gotta watch this type of families, people. They're two faced, double belly rat. They say blood thicker than water. That's not always true. Because sometimes a stranger you don't even know will do more for you than your own family. Then the own person that say they're your mother, your brother, your sister, your cousin, whatever they call themselves, a stranger will do. Stranger will not, will not even ask you. They will just go ahead and do. That person that know you want to know about why you didn't, but you know you could have. Some of them even act like they're perfect. When they have a problem, oh, they'll get over it. When you have a problem, they want to tell you you didn't know that was going to happen. Oh, why you let this happen to you? You, you should have. You should. You should. Should. I am a human being. You are a human being just like me. We all go through changes in life. Sometimes when I'm going through my stuff, you sitting over there. Ha 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 ha. Your shipment ain't come yet. Your shipment ain't come yet. Oh, there are people when they was having children back to back. Other people saying you're dumb. Woo. Call him all kind of name. Oh, you stupid. Ah, this guy dumb. Which of my children he got? Man, you have too much children. Now these people children grow up to be young men and young women. And those that didn't want any children at all, they're the ones now uh, crying they ain't getting no help. But you never was helping anybody. And if you do something, you're doing it for yourself. You're doing it because you want it to come around back, right back to you. You ain't doing nothing out of your heart. It's a bunch of fakes. And I'm telling you, this is the year for the truth to come out. This is the time you can't hide behind the rock no more. We're going to see you hiding behind the rock. You can't hide behind the big building no more. We're seeing right through the big building. You can't stay in the dark. The dark don't even want to be dark no more. It can't wait to overpower the, the, the daylight. It wanna come. So it's not the time yet and come. Day, not, not, I want some daylight. Everything will reveal. So your people that go around and think that you're better than people, you have two face. You'll say some 
and then you'll mean evil. You'll have no good within your mind. If you are giving somebody $20 or $100, you'll make it look like you're giving a world. So you'll need to tell the entire world what you're doing. And God knows your hearts. But after a while, the things that y'all say you're doing, God cut it off. The person doesn't want nothing from y'all no more because all these things that y'all say y'all was doing was fake. You wasn't doing nothing. You was going around doing something to big, big up your chest. You was going around doing things to let people know, yeah, you are. Uh, but you wasn't all about that. So after a while, the most high, because I believe in diversions. Yeah. Where the most high or the universe allow division and diversions to happen sometimes. To show certain people, wake up, smell the morning coffee. The person you're depending on never did love you. They only love you when they see you about to get something. They only love you when they see you got something. They only love you when they see you ob obtaining something. They only love you because now they see that they couldn't eliminate you. So what they say, you can't beat them, join them. They're coming inside to see if they could take you down by the inside. Yeah, sometimes a lot of them like that, they can't take you on the outside. So they got to be your friend to come see if they could get you by the inside. It takes your mother, your sister, your brother, your cousin. It takes any one of them. I'm telling you that. I don't worry about the people that I don't know. I worry about the people I know because it's the people I know who's trying to stop me. It's not the people I don't know. Like it's dead and life. You ever see a dead person get up from any cemetery trying to perplex any person that's in the land of the living? No. It's the people that's in the land of the living that's go around and perplex people. Carry bad mind, red eye, envy, lies. Hatred, all of that in one one person walking around with all that negative stuff. You want to blow up. That's why I love your collapse heart attack. Collapse, brain, bust a, a, a vessel in your brain. You know, all kind of stuff because you're so evil. Evil. And every dog has a day. Remember that. And even me, if I go around pretending that I am better than people, or the eyes of the people going to see me. So that's why I say the race is not for those who run it. It was for those who selected and elected. And if you was not selected and not elected, your butt could fly high, fly low, sideways. However you figure that you want to fly. But I'm telling you, when you reach the destination, which there is no destination upon your name because you was not elected nor selected. All praise unto the Most High. Peace and blessings.